Okay, so we are back with the Mama and Mommy show and I'm going to show you how to make fluffy slime. So here is some of the finished product of fluffy slime. It's really pretty. I made it pink because my soul is pink and unicorn. So you can store it in pretty much anything. You can store it in paper wrap, in Tupperware. You can store it in glass Tupperware. This is another. Jars, glass jars. Yeah, glass jars, mason jars. This is another finished product. A so you're getting slime. really good at this because um, I bought your daddy glass bought glass. a gallon of glue, right? And a whole big bag of arm and ham and baking soda. Yeah, that but, huge. but we're going to do fluffy slime. today you're going to do a different kind of yeah. fluffy slime. Here we go. So first so. you just pour in the glue. However much glue you want because you're making it how much glue you have in the bowl. But not with fluffy slime. Fluffy slime, the foam will add a lot. So if you don't want to put too much, you can add just a lot of foam. Okay. So then you just want to put some Barcel baking foam or anything you have. Shaving cream. Yeah. It comes out better if you shake it. I don't have a lot left. It's so not enough for this project, yeah, though. Yeah, definitely. Because so you've been making a lot of slime. Here's another container it. of it over here. Yeah. Like, we have slime everywhere. So then you She's just thinking about giving some of it away at her birthday. Maybe. At her birthday party. So then party. you mix it all um, <clears throat> up with something. I'm using this because I always use chopsticks or something plastic. Because you don't want to get any of your spoons Chopsticks dirty. work the best. Yeah. I've seen you use a straw before. So you stir it up. And if you're going to use a straw, I'd recommend a harder kind of plastic. Because the plastic, um, like this kind, at a like a straw. store. Yeah. Or something like that. A straw. It just like breaks or bends. Yeah, but when that you're one mixing. that still works in a pinch. You can use a straw. Yeah, you can definitely use a straw. If you don't have any Here's chopsticks. Some of Madeline's supplies for paint or sticks. Here's a little jar that she painted and it's got a little bit of slime in it, purple slime. So then you just add your contact solution. You want contact to, solution. You want to put a lot but not too much because it will turn into like a kind of, um, let's say, Play-Doh. And you don't want your slime to be Play-Doh, do you? Okay, so you have to just keep adding a little bit of contact solution. It's just basic contact solution. Yeah, equate. Um, but and that's what really the chemical reaction is there, is that contact solution. Yeah, very chemical, big reaction. And... Um, the glue. Elmer's glue. The glue. The Elmer's glue is always the base of the slime. Yes. That's true. Um, the other one that you do, that you make... With baking soda? You do baking soda and slime. Right. We have a video of that, too. How to make baking soda slime is just super easy. It's just baking glue. Baking soda, glue, It's glue, and baking and soda, solution. and contact solution. And then your paint or your food color. Yep, it pulls it all together. So you don't want to have long sleeve shirt on because it might get stuck <laughs> on your shirt. Because oh, it's gosh. not like the baby co baking soda side slime it just gets all over and you can't get it off okay so you just want to add um enough of the equate or any kind of contact solution you have in you can see to it's make starting it into to, it's starting a to turn into hork uh, that's what i heard a hork a hork yeah okay it looks like marshmallow fluff. Yeah. When you were doing it, it kind of looks like this. But you got to keep adding the shaving cream yeah. and the contact solution. It's starting to come off of the sides of the bowl there. You can see it. And if you still have an extra little piece in the bottom like that, you can just put it back in to the slime when you're done making it. So I might just add a little bit more of the Equate contact solution and then pull it. So you're just gonna keep on the adding the contact solution and the shaving, shaving cream. cream. All right. So when so, I'm done, there you go. Now I'm ready to pull it out of this bowl. Oh, let me out of this bowl. That's what it's saying. I need help. Okay. So you just want to pull it out onto a wood surface. Or, um... It's best milk. on a wood surface. Yes, it's best on the wood surface. If So if you have it on a wood surface or, like, any kind of tile, 
it will work better. So you just want to pull as much as you can out for right now. So the and better then just way keep to, working it until you get it to the right consistency. The better right? way to get it out is to pull it and then drift it. Just or keep scraping it to, out of the bowl. Um, like kind of mix it on the side of the bowl okay. and pull it out. So when you have it like that, you can just pull it off. Yeah, of, you can grab it with your fingers, right? Yeah, but you don't know what. You need to add more contact solution. Yep. So let's add some more contact solution. Okay. And let's see if I can add a little bit more shaving cream into this one. Okay. So we get to take this off of the stick. Yep. And we're just going to work. Start folding it, right? Smear it around. And then That's fold, the contact solution. Fold, and fold, fold, fold. It might be a little bit like sticky. So when we're you finish with the slime. And this is going to be fluffy bead slime. So we're going to put the beads in the corner. So what you do is just add a bunch of beads into the corners of your slime. You just took the string of beads yes, from and Gasparilla cut and cut them into pieces. Into pieces. And then you're adding them into the slime mixture. You have to add them into the corners because there's... And sometimes you put paint, right, to, yeah. to add color. Yeah, but today This we're time you're doing do beads. beads. I saw where you did rubber bands on one, yeah, little tiny was, rubber bands. That was fun. And it here, makes look. it all stretchy looking it's and stuff. right here. So you can see the beads, and you're getting ready to fold them. Are oh, you going to show us the rubber band slime? Hang on, let me zoom in on that. This That's is neat. baking soda slime. That's the baking soda slime, okay. It comes right out of the packaging. But this is the shaving cream slime. Yes, so you just put it... At the corners and then at the tops. You're just going to add a bunch of beads to the mixture. Yeah, you don't want to put them anywhere else because there's special placement for the beads. Because if you don't put them to the right places, it won't mix in correctly. I learned that the hard way. Oh, so you got to put them on the outside edges? Um, so you put it in the corners. Yeah. And then you put them on this, on this. In the middle? Side. And then the middle and then on the bottom of the top. And then you mix them carefully like this. In so you just start folding it again. The, yes, into the slime. And if you have extra beads, just add them in while you go. Add them while you go, as you go. And then you just want to keep adding. This is a whole necklace, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, you cut apart a whole entire necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, into individual beads. Just little plastic beads from Gasparilla. Yeah, and you just want to keep adding them. And it does make the slime harder, so um, more beads makes the slime harder. Gives it so texture, right? If it's stickier, on the stickier slime, add beads. If it's on the harder slime and you want it to be less hard, add some water in bands, and it will actually, like, be a less hard and, like, start being So let's see what sticky. it looks like. Is it done? These are purple beads. This is going to go great with the color. You can put glitter, beads. I'm going to add a little bit of paint. Put some paint in. Okay. So let's add some blue paint into the mixture. Just to give it a little more color. So if you're going to do beads, you want to add the color, if you're going to do color, and last after the beads. Because if you don't, the beads will be colored and it won't look great. <laughs> gotcha. So I'm going to make this into a blue and purple mixture. So this is a very pretty blue. It's a sky blue. I used it in my first ever slime um, that I have ever made. And it was so pretty, like so fantastic. I couldn't even... So give us a quick rundown again. How you make it, what your, what your ingredients are, and how you do it real quick. Okay. So you have to have some Elmer's glue. I have a little bottle here. Mm -hmm. So about a bottle's worth of Elmer's glue for one yeah. batch. Yeah, and paint if you want to make it. What colored. kind of paint? Acrylic or um, Applebee or, or food, food color. Color. Okay, and then what? And you want. What are the other shaving ingredients? Cream shaving for cream. Fluffy slime. It's shaving cream for fluffy slime and. and Baking soda contact for stretchy, and all of them need eye contact solution, right? Yes. And then the directions real quick, give us the rundown. So, first you put in the glue, 
and you want to put in as much glue as you want because that's going to be how much slime you're going to have. And then you want to put in the shaving cream and mix it together into the glue to make it into a foamy glue. And then you put in the eye contact solution and it'll start forming. And if you're making fluffy bead slime, you want to put in the beads in the corners, in the middle, and in the um, corners, and in the top and the bottom. And after that, if you're going to put the color in, you want to put it last. Whatever acrylic paint, apple paint, or food color into the slime. And then you just fold and it in like you're doing there. And then you just keep folding it in. And however much color you need to make it the you color just keep adding it, that right? you want. I know some of them that are really dark, like this dark pink um, one and the dark purple one. Yeah, and, and you've got a dark this one. Another dark purple, and you have a dark blue too. If you wanted um, to, you just have it. to add kind of a lot of paint to yeah. it. But you just keep adding it and folding it in, right? That's kind and of a you lavender spread it kind of. color with dark purple beads. So that's really cute. So awesome. It's blue lavender, and I love blue lavender because it's a really pretty color. Um, mm -hmm. This is a really pretty color too, so I made it this color because I thought it was super cool. So yeah. Awesome. Um, All right. I'm going to add some purple because I want to add a cuter color. So you're just going to make it more middle. of like of a purpley pink. And so yeah. that's it, right? Yep. Okay. So that is all for today. And goodbye. Actually, I love this the slime so much. It's so amazing. And if you want to make it, just make it at home. Because honestly, if you make it at like some kind of factory, it's just going to get boring. Any advance uh, advice? Like don't leave it in the heat. Yes, don't leave it in the heat. Keep it. Don't even take it out in the yeah, heat. Yeah, keep it away from it. Because it'll melt in your hands and on everything. Don't put it on water Any in suggestions it. on how to get it out of carpet and fabric? Yeah. On water or alcohol? Warm um, water. Water. Uh -huh. or running, soap and water. Run, I took a wash rag with yep. some soap and water on it. Or rubbing alcohol or um, hand sanitizer. So don't panic if you do get it in that yes, stuff, right? Yes, because you can do rubbing alcohol, water, and soap. Or hand sanitizer. Excellent. Thank anything, you, miss. Anything that you think will get it out, don't try because, like, I tried baking soda once, and it worked perfect. Actually, you can do baking soda and water. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So here is the slime. That's awesome. I love this color so much. Bye.